recently we had a workshop with the ACC, Anti-Corruption Commission. So we are asking them that corruption is a problem or a symptom? It's a symptom, right? Symptom of what? In human conduct. <laughs> If it is a human conduct, you will think of exploiting others. <laughs> when you think of exploiting others and the you know, so-called legal means are not available, okay, you will invite into corruption. But is it natural for you, is it human for you to exploit others? Or is it natural for you to nurture others? Nurture others. <coughs> so that is the indicator. If you have the feeling of prosperity, you will think of nurturing others. If you have a feeling of deprivation, you will think of exploiting others. <coughs> so if you are living with human conduct, with this human consciousness, you can identify your need of physical safety. Right? And you can produce more than what is required. Therefore, you can have the feeling of prosperity. If you have the feeling of prosperity, you will think of nurturing others. That is human conduct. Right? If you don't understand human being, right? You are not able to identify your need, right? And you have the belief that the needs are unlimited or the wants are unlimited, right? Then, in regard of how much you accumulate, you continue to feel deprived. And therefore, you think of exploiting others. Therefore, you indulge into corruption. Right? So then we ask them, what is good to do? To work for ensuring human conduct? or to fight out the inhuman conduct, or to fight out the corruption. First one is to ensure human conduct, right? Then, despite all your effort, if some problem is there, some inhuman conduct is there, right? Put them into this workshop like this, <laughs> you know, you facilitate them to have a human conduct, right? If you still there is some problem and some people are indulging to corruption, then, you know, stop that corruption by whatever deterrent means, you know, you want to stop it. But that is the third priority. First priority is to take care of the human conduct. Second priority is to improve upon the inhuman conduct. The third priority is to give deterrent, you know, punishments, okay, to Stop the corruption. Are we doing that? First two things we are not doing. Right? We are giving education which is making feel people deprived. And they will indulge into corruption. If you are making people making feel that the needs are unlimited and the resources are limited. Do they feel prosperous or do they feel deprived? Exploit. And then later on, get into corruption. In fact, in India, a very interesting example. There is a thing called Medical Council of India. And there is a chairman of that council by name Nitin Desai. Nitin Desai. Okay? The Medical Council of India is supposed to make sure that the standards of the education of medical is proper. So they are supposed to keep a watch over all the way, you know, medical college. So make sure that they are giving the right kind of education, medical education. This man was the chairman of this Medical Council of India, was caught taking a bribe of 2 crore rupees. How much? Two crore. Two crore. Two crore. Then, <laughs> yeah, it is only two crore. <laughs> <laughs> because more interesting fact is that when the CBI, you know, made a raid in this uh, in his house, okay, they got lot of gold there. How much could it be? Just imagine. 
He had lot of gold in his house. How much it could be? It was 1,800 kg of gold. Eighteen hundred kg of gold, and it was not enough. It was not enough for him, so he was still taking bribe of two crores, only two crores. Because if you compare this one thousand eight hundred kg of gold, then two crores is a very tiny thing. This is what we are doing. In fact, if I ask you to convert this into if I ask you to convert it into money, most of you will not be able to do it correctly. <laughs> you will lose one of the other, you know, zeros. <laughs> Uh, one person in Mongolia has got 42 metric tons of wood, and then the, and uh, the there is one temple and building a statue of Guru Pushin in the east. He went there to pick 14 kgs of wood. <laughs> A single person has got 42 uh, metric tons of gold. This is nice. So compared to that, 1,000 uh, different kgs of gold. <laughs> and whether he is feeling prosperous or deprived? For him, he is still feeling deprived. That is what is going to happen. Otherwise, it is very difficult to you know, keep on accumulating so much of gold. But he must have invested his happiness for this. So, our friend has made a contribution of 56 crore. So, 2 crore is a very insignificant amount as compared to 546 crore. So let's look at this, whether this prosperity, just come on, just come back. It has not identified the need of physical facility. Will I aware of the prosperity? No. If I have identified it, then there is a possibility of prosperity. So what I would expect you to do is to identify your need of physical facility. Of food, of clothes, of shelter, of this means and instrument. Then try to find out whether you have more than what is required or less than what is required. Okay? And therefore find out whether you are prosperous <coughs> or you are not prosperous. Then find out whether there is a possibility of being prosperous or there is no possibility of being prosperous. So these are the questions which you have to address to yourself. Okay, let's see. What is the question? Uh, uh, when we look at the accumulation of physical facilities more than required, now I'm starting to become very difficult here. Uh, meaning that Bhutan government now, as of now, is currently under operation of many hydropower plants. And I don't know why the intention is, what the intention is for. And of late, I've come across a newspaper stating that uh, government in process of, uh, mm -hmm. of constructing new roads, farm roads to the rural villages, instead of bringing happiness to the people, some of the people who already have little holding, land holdings, aggregable mm -hmm. land holdings, those land are converted into roads and they now have no more aggregable land for uh, at least to have uh, basic consumption for them. Now, where is our intention or the right understanding is landing? I just wanted to uh, ask for some comments from you. Instead, I just wanted to know our state as of now. You see, 
The whole concept of development that we have has got to be reached with people. The whole concept of development that we are following today okay, has to be looked into again. So, from my side, I just you know mentioned this the very first thing that this dealing with animal consciousness okay, is not sufficient for human beings. Okay. We want to live with human consciousness, which would mean ensuring right understanding, right feeling, and physical facility. Right? If we ensure this, it will result into happiness and prosperity of one and many for all. Now, you will have to ask whether the government of Bhutan has this on the priority list or the physical facility on the priority list. Are we working for ensuring right understanding in every individual? Are we working to ensure fulfillment in relationship? in family, in community. And then finally, are we working for ensuring physical facilities which are required for human beings in a manner which is fulfilling for human beings and also for the rest of nature? These are the three questions which are important to ask. I will repeat again, are we working towards ensuring right understanding in every individual. Second, are we ensuring, working for ensuring <coughs> relationship in family, in community? Right. Finally, at the level of nation. Third, are we ensuring, working for ensuring physical facility that is required for this purpose? Right. For every family, for the community, and finally for the whole country. Are we doing that? If we are doing that, Right? It is going to be successful. If we are not going doing that, we will get into trouble sooner or later. And that is the meaning of development. That is the meaning of progress. If we are not doing it, we will get into trouble. And in a way, we are getting into trouble. Because we don't have this right understanding and right feeling. Our leaders don't have this right understanding and right feeling. Right? Then they will try to get happiness out of this physical facility. So they will go on accumulating. And then there will be this human conduct. Then there will be exploitation. Then there will be corruption. Right? All these things will come in. So that is what essentially we are trying to work out right from the first day. What is going to be the notion of development? What is going to be the process of development? All that has to be viewed the And if you don't do that and follow the so-called modern model, the modern civilization of development, then we are going to get stuck in it. Yeah. I'll come back. Uh, I was just thinking, like, how long will it take to India, like, 110 crores to work? <coughs> Right relationship, right understanding. I mean, I don't think all the way from 1945 after the independence to today, the government has worked on this particular issue. So, I mean, in a democratic country, if you want to bring a government, I mean, government are the kings in a democratic country. So, if you want to have that 547 good king elected by the people of India, I don't know how many years we will have to wait for that. <laughs> I, I will give you a okay. I will give you that conservative estimate at the end. <laughs> we have done the calculation for all the people on this earth. <laughs> well, I think and, this and, just, and you know, your calculation should be, you know, comes to. That's the only I think. Yeah. Uh, I can, I can give you just a you know, rough idea. That if one person takes 10 years to understand this and to live in accordance with this, and in next 10 years, he is able to help 10 people to have the right understanding and right feeling. This is the rate at which, go, at which we go. Then 1,000 crore people can have the right understanding and right feeling in 100 years. 
Right? That is my rough, you know, conservative estimate. And I think that for a civilization, 100 years is not a very long time. Then I say, if you do it through education, it will take still less time. But then this 1 to 10, instead of 1 to 10, you can multiply at a faster rate, you know, 1 to 100, then it will take 50 years. And if the whole system takes the responsibility, then it can be done in between 20 to 30 years. So these are the three possibilities. But I will go with the conservative estimate of 100 years, and which is not very large for the civilization, right? For a human civilization. So if you take that estimate and you apply it to Bhutan, then 30 to 40 years, okay, it will be possible for every, you know, citizen of Bhutan to have the right understanding and right feeling. So I would think that 30 years is not a very long time. If you go by education, it will take less than 20 years. Right? And if the whole, you know, the government and the system decides, it should not take more than 10 years for Bhutan. And for all the people of the earth, it should not take more than 100 years. But it is... Huh? Yes, that's it. Whole point to make. <coughs> we have to start with ourselves. And you will see, if you start with yourself, it goes very naturally. So what Sangeeti was telling about his experience with the children, right? He has started with himself. It is going down to the children. It is also coming back to him also, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting, you know, <laughs> that you start working with yourself, so there is improvement in you. You also start working with others, there is improvement in them. When there is improvement in them, it also becomes a source of inspiration for you, right? So, if there is improvement in you, right? So, that way it can go very fast. But anyway, we need to do it now. There is no option left because we have created enough havoc around. Either we do this now or we cease to exist. Because a lot of calculations are being done that if we continue the way we are going, we may survive more than, not more than 50, 60 years. So you saw that movie yesterday, right? The story of his stuff. So if you want to continue with this state of development, so-called development, then we need at least five, six plants, yes, six planets, right? and we have only one. Because he has started feeling prosperous, now it is a matter of concern for him what to do with the rest of us, you know, the salary. In fact, this issue, why you need to have more than what is required? What you do with the more? Okay? So this also has to be understood. You are know how much material is required. But we are producing more than what is required. 
and they have the feeling of prosperity. But when it comes to consume, you will consume only as much as you require. You will certainly not do overeating, right? Because there is more food available, you will eat over. Or you will eat as much as is required for the health of your body. Right. So what will you do with the rest? The rest you will invest in relationship and ensuring the human order. So in ensuring the relationship, fulfillment in relationship and ensuring the universal human order right? in the community, in the society, in the nation. Right? So that is what we will do with the rest. And that is what I said when I have the feeling of prosperity, I think of Master in the So think over it. I will just write down this definition of health, which I have not done. Not a very important point to make now, but I will anyway write it down. But one, the body is able to act according to the body. This is one important thing. How do you know that the body is not in good health? When you give some instruction to the body and it is not able to execute it. So in the morning when you get up and you want to, your body to get off the bed and it is not able to do it, feel that the body is a problem with the health. The other indicator of this is that the different parts of your body are in harmony. They are in order. So these are the two indicators of health. One is that the body is able to act according to the instruction of the eye. And second, the different parts of the body are in order, are in harmony. <coughs> so look into this issue of sanyam, the need of physical facility, availability with you, and whether you have prosperity or you are deprived. Whether you have the possibility of prosperity or you will continue to feel deprived. Yes, there is some question. Uh, now, after having attended this workshop uh, for his birthday, I would like to propose something back uh, to you. So, when you say you define prosperity, feeling of having more than required physical facilities, I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable with it. Now, my definition about prosperity seems to be the feeling of having the required physical facilities. If I attain required physical facilities, I should feel prosperous. So I think uh, uh, that is my uh, And uh, then, still, the uh, same process is going on with regard to the issue of uh, the sex that we discussed earlier. Because one time uh, I had a friend, a uh, girl, girl, and uh, what happened was she fainted. And then uh, later on, when she was given to a doctor uh, with her parents, she was 17. The doctor uh, advised the parents uh, to marry the girl because uh, she needs uh, sex. <laughs> so I thought then, uh, this is part of the biological need of a body. And then I thought that from then onward, many girls do not need to be but maybe normal. But some, they may have some biological uh, setup, so much so that the sex would be very more than required. So then I thought, in nurturing the body, in addition to food, we need partner. And of course, uh, the uh, quantity would be limited, just one. One would be enough. But I think we should add one. That's my thing. Yeah. So, this second one I will leave it for you. <laughs>
Regarding the first one, it is true. If you have as much as it is required for you as physical facility, so if you have as much as it is required, you will have a feeling. But then you have to also ensure right, the fulfillment in relationship right, and also contribute to the order right, in the society. So to ensure the, those two things, you may require more than what is required for you. So it is in that sense it's more it's kept there. And as I mentioned, that having more does not mean consuming more. Having more means consuming as much as is required. Investing rest of it for fulfillment in relationship and fulfillment of the order in the community, in the society. Because those two things are also important. In fact, now if you look at this, lot of issues you know, we'll go on discussing later on, that the issue of public representative. <coughs> public representative will have more than what is required in their family, consume as much as is required, the rest they will invest for the fulfillment in relationship and for the fulfillment in, you know, harmony in the society or order in the society. That is better or these public representatives are taking away the money from the society, from the government, right? That is better. So, first one is better. So it is that more is related to that. Because all these aspects have to be, you know, covered, understood properly and taken care of. And this was something very natural in many traditional societies, right? For example, when we had this panchayat system, you know, look at India for example, in the village, they had this system of the panchayat, right? This punch were paid people or they were ensuring they are living in the family and doing this you know, work of giving justice voluntarily. <coughs> it is very possible you know, to do it. So that more will be required for all those purposes, you know, ensuring relationship and the order in the society. So you will not have public representatives who are thriving on public money, let alone doing corruption. You will have public representatives who are able to produce more than what is required in their family. They will fulfill the need of the family. The remaining they will invest for fulfillment in relationship in the society, in the community and fulfilling the order in the community. So all those have to be connected, you know, slowly. So we are trying to unfold it, you know, one by one trying to, you know, dissolve it from one, you know, simple end of deciding the desire okay, of the human being and going right up to the universal human order. So ultimately we will talk about the universal human order. But then it has to start with the human being, right? Start with the individual. Right? So in that sense, that goal is there. Not in the sense of consuming more. Dasho had a question. I'll save it for later. Yeah.
I will not be able to eat uh, <laughs> my lifestyle because this responsibility has slipped into my head as that uh, Tushar Kursik. Cool water is getting into <laughs> uh, Reflecting that we are more on this uh, 